what I am. First of all, I'm born again believer, purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I did 26 years right here, 21 years right here, 36 years altogether in prison. Uh, got got to, went in all the foster homes, training schools, juvenile homes, all that stuff right there. Came here at 16 years old, guilty of sin. Had a murder charge, had a two dollar arm robbery charge. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Deserved every day that I done. Wicked. The Bible talks about in Jeremiah, man's heart is wicked and deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. That was me. And even beyond that. Paul said, This is the paper saying, Word of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. I was, I beg the pardon, I was the chief of the chief. But I say all that, and then I did all those years here wicked, murder charges, all that, and drugs, and all that, went down all those, all those wicked valleys, going through all that stuff. But then there was a man that kept coming by, Donnie Moore, and uh, in my wicked state, and shooting dope, and going through all that. Uh, uh, Donnie would never come by and condemn me. He always came by and said, uh, Robert, I'm praying for you. Love you, boy. Love you, boy. He didn't, when I shoot another shot, he wouldn't say, you ain't going to never change. You'll never be no good. He always say, love you, boy. Praying yeah. for you. There's hope for you. But then, for eight calendar years, this man kept coming by. Eight years later, that same Jesus he was trying to introduce to me along the way, right there in the second cell on this little wall, Holy Ghost of God followed me. I, I did seven years in solitary confinement. Wicked in this prison. I was who, what my flesh was. And I thought I'd be here the rest of my life. But the Holy Ghost of God got a hold of me and one night I went to a little church service. Old Donnie said, maybe someone here tonight under Holy Ghost conviction. And it takes, look here, it's not no new Holy Ghost. <laughs> it's an old back home country cornbread fed Holy Ghost. That's the one that does the work. But God got a hold of me over there. And I was under conviction, wanted to get saved that night over in that little, over in that little chapel. But I didn't. I said, if I can just get away from this. On the way out that night, he said, I prayed tonight, if you're under conviction, you get back to your cell there, you don't sleep a wink. What little did I know, that was me. I didn't sleep a wink, I flip and flop all night. Guess who was here the next morning, had no business here? <laughs> Donnie Moore. He said, Robert, I didn't sleep either. <laughs> he come to me. He said, you won't get... Now see, God didn't have to follow me all night. He didn't have to stay with He said, my spirit will not always strive with man. I took an opportunity and took my life in my own hand. God didn't have to say, I'll give you another chance to be saved. But He stayed with me all night, let me flip and plop and cry like a baby, an old grown man. And then the next morning, old Donnie came and he said, Robert, spirit bears witness with the spirit. You want Jesus? I said, oh, yes, I do. I got down January the 5th, 1988, right there in that little prison cell. <laughs> I like the old man in the Bible. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. I didn't pray no prayer to no preacher. I didn't trust in no preacher. I didn't trust in Robert Gibson. I trusted in one man. His name is Jesus. Never been the same since. And you say, well, how'd you get out of prison with 99 years? Two, four to tens. Can I go back to this? His name is Jesus. I didn't deserve it. Didn't go through no channels. Didn't, didn't try to get out. Wasn't doing nothing. Except one day they come and say, guess what? You're going home. And my Jesus, I want to say to everyone listening here today, if you've got somebody you've been praying for, they own drugs, they own alcohol, you've given up on them, they went down that dark valley, you've tried to help them, and they've cheated, they've lied to you, they went back down that road again. Can I say, there's a man named Jesus, that if you just keep on praying, He'll change that life. He did it for me, glory to God. He saved the worst of the worst, and that's just a no sinner. Can I say to you today, there's a man named yeah. Jesus Amen. that loves you, you are somebody. And can I say today, you're not here at Brush Him Out Prison by accident today. My God has never said, oops. I didn't have plans to come over here today. But God opened the door to go back and say, go back where I found you at. Tell them how much I love them. There is hope for them. You are somebody special. Jesus loves you. I pray right now, if God is dealing with your heart about something, you don't sleep all day. You don't sleep all night. Maybe through the middle of night you'll wake up and call somebody and say, I heard the word of God. A man named Jesus spoken about. And I got something that I need to do. Trust in Him as Lord and Savior. 
He loves you. I'm going to leave you with this. Maybe you're down. Amen. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you're having some dark moments right now. Can I say the Bible says in Nahum 1 7, the Lord is good. Not Robert yeah. Gibson. No, not Robert Gibson. But the Bible says in Nahum 1 7, the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mount up with wings as eagles. Running, not worry, walking, not pain. The Bible says over here in Jeremiah, Je Je I mean, not Jeremiah, Isaiah 3, 4, 3 and 2. He said, when thou passest through the waters, God said, there's going to be some times you feel like you're being consumed. You're going under. But when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. When thy father and thy mother forsake me, the Lord will take thee up. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, shall not burn thee. Neither shall the flame kindle up on thee. And he says over there, well, in Isaiah 43 and 2, not 43 and 2, but 4, Isaiah 43 and 1, 1, he said, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah. Mount up with wings as eagles, running out worry and not walking out pain. Just in case today you don't know God's phone number, I want to give it to you. You can dial him up 2424 over in Jeremiah 33 and 3. He says, Call unto me. He didn't say, Call the preacher. Oh, you say, call, mama. He said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee yeah. great and mighty things which I know it not. Jesus bless you. Glory to God. I can't help it got born again one day. And can I tell you like I've told them all day, if you still is what you was, you ain't. Amen. God bless you. Yeah, amen.